Okay, guys, how's it going? Cool. It was a rhetorical question, but thank you for responding. Uh, my name's Alex. I'm Josh. I'm Nick. Peter. Um, we're team IEEE, so for the past 27 hours, whatever it's been, we've been honorary employees of 3M. We took some of their products. Uh, we took their command strip product. You stick it on the wall and put this hook on it, and you can hang your washcloths and things on it. Um, we took that and are proposing um, something a little bit different. We are proposing generalized command strips. So when you buy packages of those command strips, it comes with those things I just discussed. We think three out, we sh think you should sell the adhesive strip and that plastic clip in packages and develop other accessories to go attaching to those. Um, this will lead to, we foresee, an ecosystem of accessories. You buy the 3M clips and you can put your GPS on the dash of your car. You can put on the shelf in your house, um, other things like that. We decided that would be too general, so we went ahead and prototyped one such accessory in this ecosystem. Um, we prototyped a projector holder, as Nick is holding here. Um, and he'll go into more details on that. So rather than just limiting the command strips to just hangers or little baskets that you can stick in your washer or in your, in your shower to put like your washcloths and whatnot, it would be really nice like if in your, when you're in like dorms or when you're renting to be able to mount stuff to the wall or the projector because it's not yours um, and you can't just poke holes in it. <laughs> so. Um, typically these, like my projector was stacked up on a pile of boxes and it fell over a couple of times. I've had a heart attack and I uh, didn't quite like that. So instead, we, since we were looking at this, we figured that we could mount these clips inside of the, this prototyped platform base so that you could easily attach it. And then when it, times, when it comes time to move out or you want to change which, where it's located, maybe change it to point at a different wall, you don't have to get your screwdriver out or anything or shift your boxes around. You can just unstick it from the wall. Uh, next one. So the platform would consist of 3M making the exact same stuff that they currently make and then a base plate that has a ball socket in it. And then other manufacturers who want to attach to that standard uh, platform will just have a, same, a similar size ball socket that uh, goes into that. So now you can attach things like monitors, um, even things like for your cell phone as GPSs. Um, the other option is for like DJ parties or like weddings, you have room to put uh, microphones, speakers, uh, all sorts of electronic equipment. And it's all temporary, so you don't have to, so it's, it makes it s quick to set up, quick to take down, and then you don't need to fund as much for the, uh, the actual stands and whatnot. You can just stick them up on the walls. So they keep out of the way. Trip hazards are a little reduced because you don't have all the wires. So this prototype was done last night in about four hours. Um, it's a little rough, but it does functional. It is functional. Uh, each of the command strips is good for roughly 30 pounds of force, from what we found out. Uh, long term, we didn't have enough time to test that, but they, the package says they're good for three pounds a piece. This particular projector weighs six and a half pounds, so we put four of them on there, so we got a roughly double safety factor than what we necessarily need. And here's some CAD models that we came up with in order to uh, do this. So the 3D print <laughs> so. Yep. And so some uh, motivation for why we think um, we would want to have a little bit more temporary non-destructive mounting system um, is how many of you guys have lived in an apartment and um, you're not allowed to put holes in the walls because the landlord, yeah. Um, but you all owned... Uh, entertainment equipment like TVs and projectors, uh, monitors for computers, um, and as Nick said, he had you know, a stack of books, and it fell over, or almost fell over. Um, 
And so some of the statistics is um, about a third of Americans live in rental property. And so this shows that there's really a necessity for a non-destructive uh, mounting system for um, our consumer electronics. Um, the age distribution shows that um, uh, most of, so it's not a bunch of old people living in apartments, it's the younger generations who um, are more in tune with the uh, modern technology and consumer electronics. So we did some looking into uh, 3M's existing product lines. Their command branding uh, is trademarked. It has several applications not one of which is suspending electronics. If you look at all of the 15, 30, 25 past years of trademarking, it's only for smaller items. So we foresee this expansion building upon that existing base using the same technology, the same adhesive fabrication, the same injection molding processes that 3M is an expert at. Um, and these would be several dollar alternatives to tens of several dollar items like speaker stands, um, ceiling projector mounts and things of the like. Um, so the cost savings, the value proposition is big because you're, you'd be undercutting those devices and providing the same functionality. Questions? Does anyone have any questions? Have you thought about how to uh, convey I guess, maybe liability or confidence in consumers that I'm going to hang my expensive electronics from the ceiling? propositions that we're asking 3M to provide is so a little bit better data sheets so that the, uh, man, the people who are trying to use their product have that information ahead of time. So um, we had the ability to kind of do some, some partial testing and to confirm, but even if you just go by what the, the label on the box says, three pounds, this is good for a little over 12 pounds. If you go to their data sheet in the, and if you pull it normal to the surface, or if it's on a ceiling, you're pulling it down, then each strip is good for about 10 pounds of force. So even just then, that's 40 pounds, but then we had a little scale and we actually yanked on it and it bottomed out, and it bottomed out at 30 pounds. So it's good for at least 30 pounds per strip with proper adhesion. So even if you take a 25% reduction on that because they're going to like a spackled ceiling or something, it's still, it's still quite a bit larger than what the average consumer projector is. Um, and if you're really looking to put up a pro projector, you're normally not moving that around. It's going to be in a permanent installation like in this hall. It's got a big moving platform. So, um, so that might be a little bit outside the scope. But for the most part, I found that the product over delivers on what it claims, which is normally what you want. Thanks. Another question? Um, so you created this um, one bracket. How would you influence manufacturers of electronic devices to kind of embed that acceptor socket into their product design? Well, they already make uh, projector mounts currently. But all of the projector mounts, or all, all the other mounts that we've observed have been permanent installations only. So you either got to get real creative if you're going to utilize their projectors. Um, so they're already making adapters anyway. So if, if they can see that there's a, another form for these temporary locations or for these locations that can't, that are sh very short term or can't, or you can't be destructive in your mounting, then they might make it just to, just because it gives their product more availability and more usage, it's easier to use their product and it'll become more valuable to consumers. Um, and I think if, uh, so 3M would possibly be able to provide sort of a base station that would um, attach to the clips that they already have. And so companies would be able to just have a simple ball mount joint that would fit onto um, this platform. Um, but other things is like monitor mounts are all standardized in the back. There's four screw holes at set points. Um, and many other uh, mounting systems sort of have a standard or sort of universal um, layout that work with many sets of products. Another thing we're mentioning is that uh, there is a lot of open source CAD options online and a lot of open source CAD communities. And if uh, somebody did want to make a monitor, the ball, the ball socket part that connects to the actual product, like a projector or whatever brand they're using, they could actually put that on the open source CAD communities. Or another option would be uh, set up a parametric model online 
and you would be able to put in dimensions A, B, and C and how many holes you have, and it would uh, spit out your CAD part, and then you could, there's a lot of uh, 3D printing services that you could outsource that to if you wanted to, or if, if there is something that's common enough, then it would be an injection molded part, like for instance, the, the monitor displays are all standardized, so. Um, one last little tidbit to that, um, if, they, if makers post their designs to uh, communities like Thingiverse or Umagine, if 3M pays attention to these forums, they can see that you know, 4,000 people downloaded our, this model, maybe this has enough volume on it to where we might, we might consider offering it as our own product line that's just standard and ready to go. So they kind of get some market research done for free, just they can actually see what the consumers are actually interested in and maybe improve on the models that are already provided. Yeah, that was, that was a, a thing we're kind of saying is the cost to benefit ratio is relatively high because there isn't that much R&D uh, costs in this case other than setting up more standards and things like that, you know. Say, for instance, I'm still pursuing a technical board. Those three of attached to that? Uh, you know, the first part of the Base stuff or texture ceiling has doubled and you found flat surface. Okay, so the question was uh, for a ceiling that has a surface on it, it's not uh, perfectly flat, a stuccoed or a textured ceiling, would the, would the 3M product still attach to that? Um, there are products in the 3M line that would, for sure. Uh, command strip may, depending on the depth of the texture, um, but there are products in the line that could be applied to that. And if, if, I, okay. I mean, if, if testing was needed for different surfaces, they could have data on different stucco surfaces um, and you could potentially just have more strips being put on depending on what the surface you're mounting it to is if you needed, if that, if that was the case in the future for, to make it more diverse so you could use it in those locations. So the adhesion of the fact that the sticky part, like say you put something temporarily like outside or you had sunshine in that window, would you be affected like the adhesion at all? Um, so heat does weakly affect the adhesive properties, so if you put them in the sun, it, it might compromise some of the strength. Um, but the beauty of a design like this, if it's on the ceiling, you're unlikely to have sunlight falling on it. Generally, you tuck these things away, sort of out of the way, um, and they'd be covered up by the plate as well. Um, so heating effects might occur. Um, you wouldn't have UV, UV penetrating it or anything. Um, the effects would probably be minimal. Any, any insights on relative to environmental sustainability or impact? Um, the current 3M parts are made out of polyethylene, which is very recyclable. These particular parts are made out of PLA. And so if you were making your own parts, it's, those are actually biodegradable. And you can actually use recycled plastics to make them to begin with. So in depending on where the manufacturer is getting their raw resources from, it could be just completely recycled components. 